Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Sunday, February the 2nd. Okay, so I didn't make any recordings in the last couple of days. I really didn't have anything new, but if you want to see the days, the uh, trades from the previous day, you need to change this. Go to the account statement and click here on statement for account and change the number of days back and in my case I'm putting here four so it shows me uh, from January the 30th to today okay and that shows me four orders and four fills and I can see here it says we have a vertical spread here and it says to close that's a caterpillar position that was closed it was obviously a short call vertical and I also have this close for the two, two legs here of this uh, deer it, in that case it was a put spread a put long put spread but I also filled and you can tell because it says to open that I open an Adobe call spread which is short because it's red that's how you know and it's a credit spread and also XHB, that's for the home builders, that's an ETF, and it filled uh, also as a credit spread, call spread. So from here, you right click on any of these positions and then you say analyze trade to look at uh, the resulting trade if you want to see it here. Okay, so that's one. And in this case, I'm risking $300 to make $496, so that's a great deal. So very nice deal actually and uh, the other one you need to you see when you go back in immediately it says show symbol and it shows this XP XHP here you need to delete that to display all of the trades and then you have Adobe here so right click on that and analyze trade and here you are that's your trade right there and in this case, I'm risking 235 to make 265, so it's a good ratio there uh, of risk to, risk to reward. And once again, you go back to the account statement, you need to delete the symbol here. It's only showing Adobe. And I'm not going to bother with Dell, uh, DE or CAT. You can uh, arrange here by symbol. And see caterpillar here and you see for the year that's you know this position was open before the year so it says 198 19080 and de deer also 235 so they were both profitable just in case you wonder all right uh, I have two trades however uh, you can see that our cash our buying power effect will be reduced. We might not be able to enter any trades because, well, because we have, he says, illegal 300 shares. What does that mean? Go here, click on the margin until you get a number, and it says illegal 300 shares on Procter & Gamble. So what was our trade in Procter & Gamble and how come now we have 300 shares? Well, go back again, check the date and let's go back, let's say 40 days. And enter here P, PG. So it only shows us Procter & Gamble trade. It might not show, then you increase the number of days. So 60 just to make sure that we get that there it is okay so I had a put spread and you can see that PG closed at 124.62 which is between my two legs okay my short was 23 which expired worth worthless and my long was 125 which um, expire in the money so then because it's a put 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 uh, option I get assigned that option uh, obviously expired on Friday okay so what happens is now I end up with 300 shares 
at the strike price of 125. Let's say analyze trade. If I didn't do anything, uh, my I would have a loss of 174. However, I did get filled short at 125. So you have to add 300 short shares. Shares, sorry, 300 <laughs> short shares. And you can click here on the bid three times, and that will give you the 300 shares. But yet. If you press the control and then click on the bid three times, no, that doesn't work. Let's see, command, I guess. No, option, yeah. No, that didn't work. Okay, so I would like to then change this to 300. And instead of 124.20, uh, I actually got filled at the strike price, 125. So then it doesn't look so bad, does it? Then my loss will be only 60 days, $60 loss. Okay, now, problem is now I, I have those 300 shares that I have to liquidate because if you are in an IRA account, you are not allowed to have shorts, but even if you have a cash account, now you can't trade anything else, right? So that's not a very good place to be. And so guess what? Monday morning, this is a daily chart of PNG. So I think that this is probably going to open lower, although it might not, regardless. What I want to do in this case is to change these shares into another spread. What I could have done on Friday was simply to roll over my spread, change the verticals. That would have been the more appropriate thing to do. However, we, I have no way of knowing that where, where the stock was going to finish on that day. It was, it's nice if you are trading uh, during trading hours, then you would have known, hey, I'm really, really close to the expiration and it's not going to expire worthless. Uh, I could do something. So we're going to do it now. So we are going to buy back those 300 shares. So right click and say analyze the opposite. And that will close my position. And this will be the bid. However, I don't really like that because I'm still bearish on the trade. So what do I do? You can simply uh, do this as a cover call. Well, it's a cover, it's a covered stock with puts. So I'm going to press, press the control key and I'm going to look a, for a put that would be adequate. So. I'm looking for March here, 47 days is the appropriate thing. And I'm going to click here on the puts and I'm buying puts and I am buying stock. Okay. So that's, I'm going to press the control key and I say, click, uh, oh, that doesn't, it doesn't allow me to do that. But if I simply, uh, right click, I can say, analyze buy cover stock. And that gives me exactly what I want. So I'm going to say one, two, three. Okay, so I'm buying back the stock and buying 120 share, uh, puts, the 120 strike price puts that expire in March. And this is what I end up with. So it looks like stock, but because I already have stock, this is really what, what the resulting trade is. Now, I don't want to, let's say, I don't really want to have just long puts. Well, you can set a short put conditional on this trade executing. Okay, so I could say, all right, I'm going to sell 115 puts at the same trade price. So I'm going to click on this bid and change it for three of those. And you can't execute those two trades simultaneously, unfortunately. So what you need to do is set the first one to execute. So I'm going to say analyze, no, create duplicate order. 
and here it is. I can set whatever price I want. It's likely to fill. Even if the stock goes up a little bit, then the, the put gets cheaper. If the stock goes down, then you, you have more money, the option. It will, it will get a pretty, pretty, I'm pretty confident that it will get filled. Uh, what I'm not so confident is about the short put. And so I'm going to make a conditional trade, which is one triggers other or one triggers sequence, which means if this one gets filled, then I would like to sell that put. Create duplicate order, and there it is. It will sell my put only if the first order is filled. That's a conditional order. At the very least, I'm going to transform my long, my short stock into long put. And if that gets filled and the stock goes lower, then what happens is my put will get filled as well. If the stock goes up, it's not, it's not going to be so easy for that to get filled. But I'm confident that it's unlikely, in all likelihood it will get filled. That's what I'm hoping for. But at least uh, that put becomes, that stock becomes put, and that's, that frees a lot of my capital. If you didn't do this, your broker will give you a call and say, hey, you have all this short stock that is, you shouldn't have it in a Naira account. And therefore, we have decided to close that position for you. Or you might call them ahead of time and say, please close the position on X condition, and they will do it for you. Okay? And then sell their put if a certain condition is met. But if you do this conditional trading, uh, one trigger sequence, it will be fine too. So confirm and send. And then let's take a look. And as you can see, this is working. The purchase, the, the short, the cover put is working and the short put is waiting for the trigger. Okay. That's pretty clear what's going on here. Okay, uh, if I were to, I have an interest in another set of trades, but I don't think I can get them all done because I'm not sure I have all the capital because 300 shares of um, of PNG at $120 is probably too much and I'm already overdrawn. I don't have any capital. It just says illegal shares, but it's probably I don't have the capital to exer exercise any, to make any new trades. So I would have to wait until that gets done before I enter any new trades. So I'm going to call it a day here. I hope that was useful for you to, to uh, understand what's going on. In the next time we something like this happened, we will try and do a vertical roll. A uh, vertical roll is called, which is that you transform the same trade only you extend it for a longer period of time. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining me and see you next time. Bye-bye. For this video, please be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Once you have done that, be sure to also click on the bell so you get a notification of future videos coming up in this channel. Be sure also to click like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to share it with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Don't forget to visit www.putcalledgenie.com Then go and subscribe. You could simply subscribe as a visitor. It is free and you would have access to several videos of interest for traders you would be directed to this registration page. It is free. Once you have subscribed as a visitor, feel free to go to the tutorials and select the free videos. These are videos of general interest for all traders. Thank you very much.